even on a cloudy, rainy day, we got a cold front pushing through. And both of us beautiful even when there's no sun. Still a beautiful property. A couple of boats are in, hidden behind the coconut trees. It's a lot of, look like a hundred footer right there. Just see the nose peeking out. They're building something here. I don't know what they're building. Just put two poles in the water there. Something they got on their mind. I see some improvement since they was here. Got a um, brick wall there. That's to hold the sun in. I know about that. I got one of them down and done this down. But beautiful property here. That's the fellow, the dock maker, sitting on each chair making that money. Can't I'm sure trying to zoom in to see who he is, see if he's legal, but I guess he is. Great Abaco Beach Hotel. On a Cold fun day. A lady with a pit bull. What a hard work. That's work. People like dogs, but they're expensive. Boy, they're a lot of work. I don't even want that much work with a child. Here we are. I forgot the date. I gotta find out which day it is, what time it is. But I know I'm in Great Abaco Beach Hotel. Early morning. Beautiful concept here. I just love this dining room. This one place you could say the hurricane did well by Abaco, upgraded Abaco from eating in a tent to eating in luxury. Even the uh, the roof, I'm impressed by the uh, the roof, how they put that together. That's a lot of technical drawing right there. Plenty nuts and bolts. I wonder if it could survive Category 5. I don't want to be here to see. But this is the uh, foreground of the Great Abaco Beach Hotel. Beautiful presentation. Well, let's see the 17. I'm trying to figure out what day it is, but this is the 17 on the outside. Just, just this... Uh, Porch right here that they put over Boat Harbor is first class. Wednesday the 17. 17 is a good number. Unbelievable. So it's Wednesday the 17th in the foreground of the, the Great Abaco Beach Hotel. And it's good to be out in fresh air. Um, I see in uh, Africa, I, I can't chat the way that fellas chat. When he do the video of, of kill the farmer, shoot to kill, and he just shot the hunga, hunga, hunga. I wish I could have chat like that. Um, he's trying to kill me because I just speak freely. Um, somebody say if you see something, um, Joe Lewis say if you see something, say something. But Joe Lewis never said if you see something, you say something, you get locked up. He didn't tell me that part. He just said, Ty, if you see something, boy, say something. Um, you have a constitutional right to speak. Speak I will, speak I shall. Um, nobody can silence me. But I'm dead and lying in my grave. There's nothing to be said. So while I'm here on earth, um, I speak truth. I worry about nothing. There's one man that been down here. And he was the best storyteller of all time. His name is Jesus Christ. He did no wrong. He said simple words. Um, you remind me of Lyndon Oscar Pendleton. He speak to the majority of the so-called low class. And Jesus Christ said, "Ye shall and you must be born again. And they crucified the Christ child. Um, they locked me up. So I haven't been crucified, so I'm good. It is uh, sad that in my birthplace, of Dundestan, Marshall, Bahamas, that you will go to jail 
for speaking truth. See, there's a man before me, guy that I used to admire, his name was Hubert Ingram, and he left some words with us. He said, uh, the wind don't blow up in one dog ass all the time. The wind gonna shift. Then he said, it's Hubert Ingram. He said, dog, don't bark at park car. And another quote for you, but while he was prime minister and the whole country felt it, he said, when he is elected the first time in his first speech, he said, the yabbit, meaning the rabbit. He couldn't say rabbit. He said, the yabbit got the gun. He said, ah, gah, 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 gah. he laughed at them. Be careful that this rabbit don't get the gun because I know what to do. This one is Kai Care video early, the 17th of a brand new month. I'm alive and I thank the people that reached out to me. Over 300 people. White, mostly. Not them black boots. White people trying to find out where's Kai. Why is Kai locked up and can't get bail? What did he do? What crime that he did so heinous that he's locked away for a month. And Bishop Linus Cornish, my first father figure, only father figure, he said, Kai, this too shall pass, and it shall pass. Kai still cares. Early morning, the 17th of the new month, January 2023. Kai cares. That's why he's here.